Okay, I'm back. So we're still on lesson 8.4 and we're moving on to pages 561 and 562. So we're actually gonna just practice measuring lengths to the nearest inch. So you're gonna need that ruler again. So go ahead and start at the beginning of the string at the zero. Okay, so we're at the zero and we're gonna Follow our finger all the way to the end of the string. What number is it closest to when we do that? You are right. It is closest to the four. So we're going to write four inches down. All right, let's take a look at the crayon. So we're gonna start at the edge of the crayon at the zero. And we are going to slide our pencil across to see which number it ends on. So it's in between the three and the four, but it's definitely closer to the three. So we're going to mark down three inches. Very good. Let's look at the next one, number seven. So I'm starting at the zero at the edge of the string, at the beginning of the string. I'm going to follow my pencil all the way across and I can see it's closest to what number? Very good, the five. And then let's take a look at number eight. We're gonna start, this looks like a pipe cleaner. We're gonna start at the zero for the pipe cleaner, at the beginning of the pipe cleaner. I'm gonna follow my pencil all the way down and I'm gonna see which number am I closest to. It's definitely in between the three and the four but you can tell that it's closer to the four. And I know that because in between the three and the four, right in the middle is a line that's longer than any of those other marks. If it's past that longer line, that means it's closer to the four. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark down four inches. I'm just taking a minute as you catch up on that. I know that three is a reasonable answer for this crayon because I know it's a little bit smaller than that string, which was four. So if I measured this and say I accidentally was on the centimeter side and I was like, oh, that's eight centimeters and I put an eight here, but I notice up here that that one's four, I knew that that wouldn't make sense. So after you measure things, you wanna like look at them and make sure that they make sense. So I know that this crayon is the smallest out of the four of these. So I know that three would probably be a good guess or a good answer because three is the smallest measurement that I have on this page. I can see that this blue string is the longest. So that means my answer should be the biggest. If it's not the biggest, I should probably go back and remeasure it or um, maybe check and make sure that you are on the right side of your ruler because sometimes you get confused and you're on the wrong side. So keep that in mind when you're measuring. All right, the next one. Measure the length to the nearest inch. How much shorter is the ribbon than the yarn? So we have to measure two of these. So let's start with the ribbon, and I was on the wrong side. Make sure you're on the inch side. Start at the zero part of your ruler at the beginning of the ribbon. Follow your pencil all the way down, and what number does it stop on? Very good, it stops on the four, so four inches. All right, let's look at the string. We're gonna start at the zero inch mark and we're gonna go all the way to the end. What number does it end on? Very good, five inches. Now the question is, how much shorter is the ribbon than the yarn? So if this is five inches, and I wanna know the difference of the two, I'm gonna subtract that four and I know it's one inch shorter. And that makes sense because if you look at it, you can definitely tell there's only about one inch missing from the string to the ribbon. And I also am looking just as I had just said, um, I know that these answers make sense because if I look at this string compared to this five inch string, they're the same length. I know that four is smaller than five and this is a little bit smaller than that. So I know that those are good measurements um, and a good way to double check those. Okay, go ahead and flip your page. If you're not ready, hit the pause button and then you can move on. We're gonna move on to page 562. All right, and you can see we have a math on the spot, so don't forget all you have to do to hit your math on the spot for this one, you would just go to your camera, 
on your phone or your iPad and when you click on there it pops up on the top of your screen and you just open it up and it'll play an explanation of how to get to your movie. So feel free to use that on your phone. I'm not going to video it on here. You can use it if you want to watch it. Okay, how much longer is the red string than the blue string? Ooh, this one's tricky. So this isn't a straight line. So we actually have to measure this part of the string and this part of the string and add up the two sections. And then we have to add up this part of the string and this part of the string and add up those two sections. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Take your rulers out. Okay. And we're going to use the inches because we can see the label there says inches. So let's measure the top part of this red string first. So I'm going to start at the corner and I'm going to follow my finger to the end of this string and I can see the top part of that is two inches long. Okay. And I'm going to label that two inches so that I know I measured that part. All right, now I'm going to measure the bottom part of that one. So I'm starting at the zero and I'm going to follow my finger or my pen all the way to the end and I can see it is two inches as well. So the total length of this red yarn or string is going to be this two inches plus this two inches. So what is two plus two? Very good. So that red string is a total of four inches long. Now let's do the same thing with that blue string. So let's start with our ruler, start at the beginning or the uh, front part of your blue, and I'm gonna measure it. So I'm starting at the zero and I'm gonna go up to this, um, like where it stops and it bends. Very good, it's one inch. I'm gonna label that one inch long. All right, now I'm going to measure the second part of it. So I'm going to start at that bend again at the zero, and I'm going to measure this down part. And I can see that is also one inch long. And notice how I labeled them, one inch and one inch. So if I add it up, one inch plus one inch, how many total inches is the blue string? Very good. It's a total of two inches long. So it says, how much longer is the red string than the blue string? So if the red string is four, and I want to know the difference, I'm going to subtract the two inches from the blue, so four minus two, and that gets me that it is two inches longer. Now if the red and the blue strings were straight and placed end to end, what would their lengths be? So if this was straightened out, it would be four total inches, Plus, if this was straightened out, it would be two inches. So together, if we put this string out and this string out, we laid them next to each other like this, they would be a total of six inches. All right, and we have one more on this page. So it says Mrs. Grant's pencil is five inches long. Is this Mrs. Grant's pencil? Use an inch ruler to find out. Use the numbers and words on the tiles to make the sentence true. So take out your inch ruler, make sure you're on the inch side, that's the side that goes to the 12. Start at the zero or the edge of your pencil. Here's at the zero, I'm going to line it up so it's perfect. And I'm going to follow my pencil all the way over to the end of the pencil and I see that it's on the three. So it's three inches long. I'm going to cross off the three because I know I use that. And it says this pencil is it or is it not Mrs. Grant? So Mrs. Grant's pencil was five inches long. Is this pencil five inches long? No, it's only three inches long. So it is not Mrs. Grant's pencil. Okay, I'm going to pause here and then we're gonna do the homework together. So I will see you back in a couple minutes. 